my first grade friends. Today we are going to work on module 12.8, which is the last lesson of module 12. We will be on workbook pages 379 and 380. Let's go ahead and get started. In module 12.8, we are using mental math to find 10 less and 10 more. So I can show 10 less or 10 more than a number without having to count. Mental math is being able to recognize different number relationships without having to add using your fingers or pictures or other different strategies of adding. Step it out. Number one. March had 10 fewer rainy days than April. May had 10 more rainy days than April. April had 13 rainy days. How many rainy days were there in March and May? Letter A says, April had 13 rainy days. Think, 13 is how many tens and ones? I can see here that I have one group of 10 and three ones. 13 is made up of one 10 and three ones. Letter B says, March had 10 fewer rainy days than April. Remember, April had 13 rainy days. Think, how many tens do you take away from 13? So in the picture here, they have a group of 10 circled and crossed out because we're taking that group of 10 away. So we're going to take one 10 away from 13. March had 10 fewer rainy days than April, so we take one 10 away from 13. Letter C, May had 10 more rainy days than April. Remember, 13, April had 13 rainy days. Think, how many tens do you add to 13 for May? So we started off with one group of 10 and three to give us 13. I'm going to add one more group of 10, which gives me 10, 20, three. So we're going to add one group of 10 to give us 23. Add one 10 to 13. Letter D, March had 10 fewer rainy days than April. May had 10 more rainy days than April. April had 13 rainy days. How many rainy days were there in March and May? Choose the numbers. So it says March, 10 less than 13. If I take away my group of 10, that would leave me with three. In May, I have 10 more than 13. So that means I'm going to add another group of 10, which would give me 23. We'll check our work. March had 10 less than 13, which is three rainy days. May had 10 more than 13, which is 23 days. How can you use addition and subtraction facts to add 10 and subtract 10. Let's turn to page 380. Step it out. Number two, what numbers are 10 less and 10 more than 44? Letter A says, circle the number 44 on the 100 chart. So I'm going to pick pink and I'm going to circle the number 44 on my hundreds chart. What number is 10 less than 44? Move up one row from, from 44 and circle the number. So again, let's circle 44. And it's telling me to move one row so I'm going to move one row up and that gives me 34. 
So 34 is 10 less than 44. I'm taking away one group of 10. What number is 10 more than 44? Move down one row from 44 and circle the number. So let's go ahead and circle 44 again. And this time I'm going to move one row down. So if I jump down one row, my answer would be 54. 54 has one more group of 10 than 44. You identified numbers that were 10 less and 10 more than 44. Now use the arrow to see a possible answer. They circled number 44. They jumped one spot up, which gave them 34, and jumped one spot down, which gave them 54. Place the numbers to solve. 10 less than 44, we figured out was 34. And 10 more than 44, we figured out was 54. 34 is 10 less than 44. 54 is 10 more than 44. Explain why the tens digit increases or decreases by one when 10 is added or subtracted from a number. Next, let's take a look at the bottom of page 380. Check your understanding. Write the numbers that are 10 less and 10 more. So for number one, my number is 25. So 10 less means that I am going to take away one group of 10. If I take away one group of 10, that would leave me with 15. And remember, if I'm adding 10 more, that means I'm going to add another one. So that would give me 35. Number two, our number is 67. If I take away one group of 10, I would have 57. 10 more, I will add another group of 10, and that would give me 77. I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, next, you will be working on page 381 on your own. You will finish it, upload a picture to Class Dojo, and I will check it in. If you have any questions or need any more assistance, please, please, please email me or message me on Dojo. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.